Now, what kind of economic recovery is ahead? Our economics correspondent, Paul Salmon, explores some of the possibilities. It's another of his ongoing reports on making sense of financial news. For the past year or more, the U.S. and global economies have been in the soup. And increasingly, the shape of a recovery is being framed in terms of the alphabet all over the world. The most positive shape is brought to you by the letter V. We're certainly the view that it is going to be a V-shape. Another form of recovery is described by the letter U. A severe U-shaped recession. Or maybe the U is really an L. Well, the difference between an L and a U is in, in the eyes of the be, be, beholder. Or maybe it's the letter W. It feels like we're in a W-shaped recovery. Or the shape could be a little more sophisticated. What I expect is an inverted square root sign. An inverted square root sign? We'll get to that too. Because in fact, picturing the possible shapes of recovery may be a helpful way to understand the possibilities. So we visited friend Simon Johnson, former chief economist at the IMF, at his MIT blackboard for a bit of drawing and drawing out. So what's a V-shaped recovery look like? Uh, let, me, let me show you like this. So here's GDP, gross domestic product, that's output, what we produce, and, and here are years and let's start, let's say, 2002, and maybe we'll run it out to 2012, which is further than we can probably see. The economy is growing like this, that this is the recovery from the dot-com uh, crash, and, and now we, we hit a problem. We know that we've lost a lot of GDP. If we have V, we go right back to the path we had before, and you get a V-shaped recession, and by the time, you know, you reach end of 2009, 2010, you've forgotten about it, right? You bounce right back. Michael Musa, also once a top IMF economist, is among the V-shape optimists. The only basic rule is deep recessions are followed by steep recoveries. That's precisely what, what, what a V-shaped uh, recovery is. V for victory, if you will. If you believe it, that is. Musa does. We are undoubtedly having a very deep recession. And I think as uh, in the recovery from the recession the, in the early 1980s, the Reagan recovery, that I anticipate a uh, far steeper recovery than most economists do. Economists like Simon Johnson. Now, I remember you talking a while ago about an L-shaped recovery. So what's that? So take the same space, right, and have the same growth ahead of time. We have a sharp collapse, and then nothing happens, no growth. How long does that go on? Uh, and that's what you call the lost decade. Well, <laughs> if we're really unlucky, it could be a decade. That's what happened to Japan. Um, we don't know how long this goes on. You just, you just don't bounce back. You don't have the recovery. Not for the length of this graph, anyway. As young folks might put it, a loser economy. The other main champion of the letter L, besides Johnson, has been NYU's so-called Dr. Doom, Nouriel Roubini, who's been slightly less alphabetically morose of late, because of stimulus and bailout efforts worldwide. I would say that the light at the end of the tunnel is that given the very aggressive actions by the government, U.S. and abroad, they're using the bazooka, the rocket, everything, monetary, fiscal, credit policy, we're going to avoid a near depression. I think the probability of a near depression, the L is now being reduced, will still be in a severe U-shaped recession. But there are all kinds of U's, some with short bottoms, some with longer ones. And the longer the bottom of the U, the longer the financial bath we all wind up taking. Which brings us to Simon Johnson's favorite shape for describing the recovery. The bathtub. <laughs> a U so long, it might as well be an L. You go in, you stay in, the sides are slippery, you know. Maybe there's some bumpy stuff in the bottom, but you don't come out of the bathtub for a long time. Michael Musa thinks Johnson is all wet. The L shape really presumes uh, that we're going to see something we have not seen uh, in past business cycle history uh, in the United States, where you have a sharp downturn and then you don't get any significant bounce back from inventory investment or the recovery of residential investment from extremely depressed levels. That has simply not been the way things have ever worked uh, in the past. But as they're obliged to confess on Wall Street, past performance is no guarantee of future results. As viewers were reminded recently on what some might call the Wall Street Channel, CNBC, 
by currency strategist Robert Rennie. This to me is, it feels like we're in a W-shaped recovery. It feels mm -hmm. as if we're now at the apex of the middle, and it feels as if the next leg is, is potentially back down again. So, growth down, up, down, up again in a very long time. That's a real possibility, particularly because the fiscal stimulus can give you a bounce back but may not be sustained, so then you go back down again. That's a W. By this time, you'll be relieved to hear, we were running out of alphabet, which is where George Soros and Square Roots enter the picture. What I expect is a, 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 an inverted square root sign. If you, if you can... Uh, <laughs> I have to... Yeah. <laughs> you have to draw that out. <laughs> so we're growing, and bang, we go down. We come up a little bit, but then we stop growing, and who knows how long it's going to last. This is a definite possibility. We've come down so far and so fast, there's got to be some sort of rebound. Call that a technical rebound. But then it could go flat. And flat means lousy growth prospects, just like in my L. But don't we believe all the green shoots of recovery supposedly sprouting up these days? Higher stock prices, more housing starts, lower rate of job loss. Aren't they harbingers of an upturn? No, say the pessimists out there. Consider commercial real estate. Since the recession began, payroll employment has fallen by some 6 million people. Almost all presumably occupied office or factory space. Given the usual estimate of 175 square feet per worker, that's 1 billion square feet of newly vacant real estate. Not to mention all the foreclosed homes that banks have yet to put on the market. And all this in the context of consumers and businesses that have drastically cut their borrowing and spending. The blizzard of bad news, then, might suggest one last shape, associated with, among many others, the much-lettered rock group ACDC, famous for an album from the recession of 1979, Highway to Hell. No, not back to the letters, but to the symbol in the middle of them, a lightning bolt. What about something like this? We're going up, go down, come up a little bit, uh, keep going down. <laughs> that is too pessimistic, even for me. I, we, we have a continent here. It's a big country. We're not going down to zero. Maybe not. But then, given the difficulty the economics profession had in predicting that we'd have wound up in the soup, it's no wonder they can't come up with a consensus shape as to how we'll get out of it.